So I'm like the crazy, crazy fan of Apple and I never miss a WWDC. 2020 was no different. I was glued to my television screen as soon as it started. It was a kind of a different presentation altogether because of the growing pandemic. They pre-recorded everything and made it look as if it was happening in real time. So here are my thoughts on how Apple is trying to head towards with its WWDC, which is the Worldwide Developers Conference. My name is Adnan Jafri and you're tuned into Hear Me Out. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you keep hearing more and more from me. The production was top notch. They kicked off with the iOS, iPadOS, and then it was tvOS, watchOS, and macOS Big Sur. Well, the Apple Silicon announcement coming to the Mac, wow. I'll keep it for the last because it is, in my opinion, the best thing that ever happened in WWDC 2020. The changes to the iOS has an Android feel to it, but Apple has a way of perfecting everything. The widgets are done in the most iOS way possible with seamless transition. The app library is pretty useful and the scribble feature for the iOS is something which I will be using as soon as I get my hands on the new release. The watch OS have some design changes with cool new features and powerful complications. Now you can share watch faces with everyone around you, which is kind of cool in a way. tvOS comes with home support and picture in picture. AirPods support is now included in tvOS. The macOS Big Sur is a big update. It is mostly a design overhaul. The new wallpaper is kind of cool. The icons have rounded corners and in my personal opinion, I don't like it. Why Apple? Let me know what you think about it. There's a quick new settings and notification center which is kind of useful. So the Big Sur is mostly visual changes but that has brought up to the big announcement which is the transition. Apple is saying bye-bye to Intel and they will be rolling out their own custom silicon chip. Apple has used their custom silicon chip in iPhones since 2010, which has made all the difference in performance, optimization, and speed. All Apple devices come with their own custom designed silicon chip. The Apple Silicon is the way forward for Apple. The developers, however, have to write codes for both Intel and Silicon-based Macs. Craig Frederiki himself says that this transition process will take around two years. But the custom-designed Silicon chip, which is the Apple Silicon, will outperform everything and anything in the market today and that will future-proof Apple for the years to come. So that wraps the Worldwide Developers Conference. See you in the next one.